Yes, indeed. The sounds of the stylistics, y'all. Man, this is Late Love with the T-Man on the ones and twos from the south side of Chicago, Illinois. That was one hour of the stylistics, y'all. And I hope I played something that stirred up a real memory for you. Man, those stylistics was cold, boy. I don't care what nobody say. Good morning once again to my angel, my angel, the one and only Darlene April. And yes, I did. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. And I will. I will get in touch with them. Um, just been kind of busy, but I promise you I will. Trust me. I promise. Um, it's 2.44 in the a.m. And I, I think I still want to. First, I want to say good morning to Godly Lady. Good morning to you. And she's falling back to sleep. Good morning, everybody. Not able to chat. Okay. Shh. Well, good morning. Thank you for being here this morning. Listen, y'all. Um, you know, um, this Eye of the Storm and uh, TNT, Shot Town Takeover, and uh, uh, what else did I do? Morning, the Morning Jams and... Uh, the I I C L U uh are all dreams of mine that, that have come to pass and, 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 and started from a thought. A thought, you know, and thoughts and words are very powerful. And we all must be real careful in the words that we speak to and over each other. Because I say it all the time. Words could either build you up or tear you down. It's not what goes in your mouth that defies you. It's what comes out. So we have to think before we speak. And in speaking, choose the words that is best conducive to help build rather than tear down. See, physical abuse is, is, is something that you can get over, you know, and, and, and that pain goes away after a while. But the, but the mental abuse that you get from verbal verbal and I understand that because I endured it as a child you know the hatred that my mother felt for my father who I've never met a day in my life when I would hear things as a kid you just like your no good daddy I wish you was never born you make me sick every time I look at you. Words that were spoken over me. That I heard so much that I believed. And once I believed it, I became what was spoke over me. With words, because they have a lasting effect. And it wasn't until I got the age that I am now that I realized I have to be real mindful of what I speak into others. Because even though I'm grown and know the difference today, those words that I heard as a child still hurt me to this day. They don't go away. So we got to be mindful of what we say to one another. What I always do is, I always ask myself before I speak is, Tony, is this something that you would say to you and be proud that you said it to help better a person? Words. B 
be mindful of what we say because once you say it you can't take it back it's been done just food for thought this early morning on this Tuesday let me see what the weather is here in Chicago on this Tuesday morning how y'all feeling family everybody all right I just I just feel like sharing with my family this morning man because I know a lot of us going through things man and you know what and you know what we we all put on masks And I'm speaking truth right now because it's, it's truth just needs to be shared. We all put on masks. We all try to hide what's really going on inside. You know. But sometimes in our hiding and wearing those masks. We lose ourself. And when one loses all hope in self, the power of words has prevailed. I don't care what you're going through in your life right now. I don't care. Because trust me, y'all. Trust me, I'm going through some hell in my life right now. To where the flesh man in me wants to say, fuck all of this shit. Tired. Fighting a battle that looks like I can't win. But the spirit man refuses to give up because I know victory is mine. So I must endure. Even though it hurts. So let us be mindful of what we say to each other. Cause we really never know what a person is going through.
Till they bring the curtain down 